Oh, good lord. Hello, everybody. My name is Python GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Survival Island Hardcore Let's Play. We are back today, my friends. I just got done moving my bed and chopping some trees down. There's an apple up there, which I kind of want to get. But uh, the reason why I slept inside of that house instead of inside my treehouse is because apparently the zombie pigmen count as hostile mobs, and therefore I can't sleep there, so that kind of sucks. Alright, a uh, little cleric baby villager is still there, and I did have a bunch of love hearts come from some of these dudes. There we go, look at it. Looky, looky, looky. So if both of these guys can have some love hearts come out, then, uh, you know, we, we could have ourselves another little uh, villager baby. Come on, come on. Get, get, get some baby action going. Oh, what, did I interrupt them? Whoops. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I done messed up, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, today, my friends, today, we are going to be making ourselves our proper horse stable. A little mini horse stable, just somewhere we can put our skeleton horse. And then we are also going to be making ourselves a proper segregated crop farm. Because, as you can see inside of this chest, we have six different types of crops we could be growing. We have pumpkins, melons, wheat, beetroot, sugarcane, and, of course, nether warts. And you know what? Do we have any, uh, do we have any carrots or potatoes yet? I feel like we had some. Wow, we really, really, really didn't have any. Huh, that's weird. I could have sworn I had some before. Anyway, it doesn't matter a great deal. We can go and grab some from the, from some zombies in, uh, in the future, of course. So, yeah, we are, we are looking pretty good, my friends. We are on the 11th episode. We have done a pretty good job in terms of surviving this world so far. I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah, I mean, of course, if you guys are enjoying this series, then do be sure to drop a like rating on these episodes. You know, it is very much appreciated, and it's really, really nice to see those like ratings popping in. You know, it, it really, uh, really warms my heart. So, honestly, thank you guys in advance, and of course, you know, thank you for your support, you know, is much appreciated. So, yeah, we do need to start getting ourselves all geared up. We need to properly start getting this island all suited and booted up so we can actually, you know, we can properly get this thing, you know, rolling, you know. We need to get ourselves some cool stuff going, you know. We need to get some cool armor and cool tools. I mean, we're running out of our diamond pickaxe, which does kind of suck, but, uh, you know... These are the things that we need to go ahead and do. You know what I'm saying? We just need to, just need to, you know, get ourselves into the mindset of just getting some sick action going. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's uh, do a bit of this. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a very, very simple build. I'm not really going for anything, you know, fancy schmancy or anything like that. Uh, although I'm thinking we could potentially put stone bricks here instead of just cobblestone. So, do we have a... Oh, we don't have a great deal of coal. Uh, right, I'm going to not waste any efficiency of the coal. So, we're going to put one bit of coal back. And we're going to go and grab ourselves uh, a bunch of this out. There we go. And we're going to split this in half. And have double action furnaces going. Awesome. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. Awesome stuff. Alright, so what else have we got going around here? We've got ourselves a bunch of this. Let's do a bit of that and a bit of that. There we go. And we're going to do a bit of this as well on the inside. Let's grab ourselves some slabs out. And let's see about getting this thing going. Okay, like I said, it's going to be very, very simple, but there is nothing that's going to be all sort of fancy about it. So, you know, it's just it's just a thing. It's just a build. Nothing too fancy. Right, a bit of that and a bit of this. And the stone bricks, of course, are going to go at the bottom. But for the sake of uh, keeping things symmetrical, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and replace this with cobblestone right here. There we go. And I'm going to make sure this is cobbled out as well. There we go. And we're going to do the same with this part here. So then the skeleton horse can just have the inside part here all to himself. Oh, man. He's going to have such a luxurious place. I'm almost going to be jealous of his blooming thing. All right. There we go. And let's have ourselves some... I'm pretty sure I won't need that many stairs. Something like this will do the job nicely. All right. And let's, uh, let's make our way up to the top. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Just bring out a block wider, you know? I, I feel like that would be a cool idea, just to add a bit of depth to this thing. I mean, this isn't really a building series, not by any stretch of the imagination. It is a full-on, you know, survival series. But it doesn't it doesn't take away from the fact that I want to make things look nice, you know? So, let's just, uh, let's hop up here really quick and see if we can't get ourselves a little something-something. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, this is actually turning out to be a much bigger build than I first anticipated. <laughs> All right, well, uh, you know what? That, that's not too bad a thing, I guess. All right, and stairs again. 
just to chuck this bit in there. There we go. And this is where this stuff comes in. Uh, turns out we're going to be needing ourselves a bunch more wood. So something like this. Here we go. And then we're going to put slabs on top of it just so no mobs can spawn here. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two. Oh, we have to be one off, don't we? Has to be one off, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, and there we go. That should just about do it. Yeah, okay, and I'm actually going to go and get rid of this and maybe some upside down stairs just to sort of curve it off. Yeah, I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. I'm liking me some upside down stair action. Sweet. All right, and that goes right there. Yeah, man. That's looking cool. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I dig it, I dig it, let's do it, alright, boom, and again, get rid of these three blocks right here, and boom, and a boom, and a boom, and that is pretty much the build done, all we need to do is put the stone bricks down, and then that is literally it, boom, alright, sweet man, and then we need to make some fence gates too, so one, two, three, so three sets of sticks to go something like this, there we go, so we can obviously get in and out properly, boom, 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 and then we go ahead and grab this out, and this out, and again, not needing too much of the old stone bricks. I'm going to keep some regular smooth stone behind, and we could do some of this. And yeah, that will do the job. That will literally do the job. And let's put some torches up, just to put torches up. <laughs> Don't really have a reason for doing that, apart from lighting up the island, I guess. Here we go, and I've just realised our food situation was just looking really quite dire. Because, of course, we're on hardcore difficulty, we can die of starvation. It is definitely something we need to be aware of. There we go. And, yeah, there we go. Skeleton Horse has got his own little place, all sort of snuggled in here. <laughs> that was fantastic, man. That was absolutely brilliant. All right. The only thing I'm thinking of with this crop farm is, you know... Uh, oh, wait, are you new? Oh my god, we've got a new baby villager! That's a butcher, isn't it? That's either a butcher or a leather worker. Both of which are pretty useless, let's be honest. I'm looking for a farmer villager. Now obviously you guys have correctly pointed out that even though this guy's a fisherman, he will still farm. But the reason why I want a farmer is because I'll be able to sell him all of the crops and therefore get a whole bunch of emeralds. That is the reason why I want a farmer villager in particular. So, you know, just a little... FYI for you guys right there. So, yeah. I feel like this place is going to be the place where the segregated crop farm is going to be. So, yeah. But again, we don't have a great deal of room, unfortunately. Which does kind of suck. Oh, god damn it. I'm just plumbing. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, no. Oh, god. He almost got out. <laughs> he almost did it, man. He almost did it. He almost succeeded in his attempts at escaping this, this, this place. I'll tell you what. We're going to have to... Uh, how many apples do we have? 13? I mean, we could have some of them as a proper food source, but definitely not all of them. Let's just get ourselves back up to max hunger. Uh, yep, yeah, that should pretty much do it. Okay, cool. So, here's what I'm thinking. Here is what the python is thinking. We are going to have ourselves some water right here. Okay. Going all the way down the width of this house. Okay, that's looking cool. And we're going to have sugar cane, sugar cane, water. Right here as well. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And uh, maybe we could have ourselves some of uh, some of this stuff going. Because then I'll be able to put one water underneath it. And then we can have sugar cane either side, of course. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I like that idea. So yeah, this is going to be our sugar cane farm site. I'm liking it. Alright, uh, let's get ourselves a little something something going here. There we go. And we're probably going to replace this bottom part with dirt. Just to sort of make it fit in a bit better. Okay. There we go. Sweep. Although I'm feeling like we should put wood there. I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm feeling about it at the moment. But, oh well. Doesn't matter. But yeah, you get the general gist of what I'm doing. We're going to go ahead and get this uh, sugarcane farm planted down here. And uh, hopefully by doing that, we should be able to start trading ourselves a whole bunch more paper trades, you know? Because it's about time we did that. It really is. Because we've been just trading rubbish stuff, to be honest. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to have much choice but to go ahead and do this. Yeah. 
It might mean they get trapped in the corners, but we really do need this space to get the sugar cane stuff going. Because we want to get ourselves some decent sized farms going. Because by doing that, we can get ourselves a very nice amount of trades going. And then get a bunch of emeralds, get a bunch of bookshelves. And, you know, get ourselves a proper level 30 standard enchanting setup. So, yeah. It's the reason I'm doing this. Alright, sweet. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go ahead and continue on making this here sugar cane farm. And I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. Oh no! Diamond pickers ran out! Oh, it's disappeared, man! Oh, this is a terrible day. Well, guys, are you ready for probably the biggest progress update I've ever done? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the farm design I went for was slightly more extravagant than I would have first thought, so here we go. <laughs> this is the design I've gone for, my friends. It is a two tiered farm system. Basically, this bottom layer is indeed going to be for sugar caves. As you can see, I'm going ahead planting these little babies down. Uh, there we go. We should be able to get one on the other side as well. There we go. So yeah, this is going to produce quite a nice amount of sugar cane per time, I imagine. And then, of course, we go up to the top layer of which the roof of this building is connected to it. And this is where the rest of the crops are going to go, pretty much. Uh, I want to go ahead and replace this really quick with that. There we go, just to make sure it all fits in nicely. So, yep, yeah, and obviously these waterfalls here double up as a water source for this top layer here. So, yeah, man, it's going real freaking well. And i got to say, I'm really happy with the... Uh, with the progress that we've made today, my friends. Uh, before we do anything now, I want to make some cobblestone slabs to put on top of those... Uh to put on top of those uh, stone bricks right there. So let's go and get this thing rolling. Uh, I'm also wanting to grow some trees so we can get some chests in here for storage, you know, for farm, you know, farm yield storage, if you will. So let's do a bit of this. There we go. And I don't see a reason why we shouldn't start grabbing all these out, actually, so we can actually get this thing rolling. There we go. All right, sweet. And yeah, man, we're gonna, we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get this freaking thing done, because it's about time. I want to move these torches up as well. There we go, just for the sake of moving Moving them up a little bit. There we go. I'm pretty sure hostile mobs won't be able to spawn in here. Uh, although I am seeing some light level sixes around. Uh, maybe it'll be a good idea to place some on top of these here fences, perhaps uh, behind the waterfalls. Uh, I don't see a reason why not. But anyway, let's uh, let's head back up here and let's get, let's get this thing done. So boom, boom, and then the cobblestone fences are just going to go over like so. There we go, just to sort of introduce a different block type into the mix. So, hold on. Bit of that, there we go. And then bit of that, bit of that. And yeah. And obviously the greatest thing about this thing being up here, and yes, that was indeed a squeak and I apologize for it, is the fact that the villagers won't be able to get up here and do their farming dang. Because, you know, they're going to wind up stealing all my crops, which I'm going to be winding up selling to them. So, yeah. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Alright, so, yeah, we need to figure out... Oh, nether warts we won't be able to plant, obviously. We don't have any soul sand unless we head into the nether and grab some. Although, we do want to have... I'm thinking we can minus out pumpkins and actually... Uh, no, we're not going to minus out melons. We're going to keep the melons because we can make glistering melons, right? And that'll be a cool thing to do. So, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. This is going to be the melon section. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, do you know what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking we could segregate this. I'm honestly thinking we could segregate this. If we just put some cobblestone down or something, just to signify that this is a pathway of some description. There we go. So, yeah, like I said, segregated farmway. This is the whole point of this thing. To sort of separate out the farms and have, like, specified sections for each one. There we go. But honestly, I don't think we're going to be needing a lot of melons. I think six melon plants will do the job real nicely. The things that we're looking for most of all are carrots, potatoes, and wheat. So, yeah. So, I'm thinking we go ahead up to this point here. And this will be where the beetroots are going to be, okay? I'm liking it. Oh, hang on. We don't need to have that section. Ah, no. No. Get trampled over. There we go. Cool stuff. And, yeah, like I said, this place is going to be for beetroots. So let's go ahead and grab some. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Obviously, they all need to grow. So in the meantime, I guess the rest of the space can entirely be used for wheat. So, yeah, I'm liking it. Well, obviously, the wheat is going to be useful for making bread and therefore making the villagers, you know, willing to breed. So this is going to be freaking awesome, my friends. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. 
Uh, are we going to have enough seeds to fill this up? I think we are. There we go. Oh my god, we've actually got enough. Sweet. Okay, and torch and torch, 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 and more torches, more torches. One there, one there, and one there, and one there, and uh, oh, I don't want to be falling down there, son. <laughs> and we'll have another one beside these waterfalls here. Anyway, the only thing I'm thinking of is uh, uh, my, my, my OCD is starting to go quite crazy because of the fact there's two spaces there before the first waterfall and there's only one space here. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I don't know, man. But anyways, I think we're going to keep it there for now because that is looking pretty damn good. And obviously these sugar canes, again, going to be giving us a nice amount of croppage. So, yeah, man, this is going to be really, really good once it's all done. I'm really, I'm really quite happy with it. I really am really happy with it. Yeah. Alright, so, let's go ahead and see what kind of, uh, have we got any more villagers? We've got a new cleric, uh, librarian, he's got a flame book, that's not too bad, is it? Alright, let's hop up here, uh, what do you have, son? Uh, can I actually, like, see what you've got? Bud? Oh, I'm just gonna have to drop in, aren't I? Fortune, alright, this is the cruddy villager here, yeah. protection one, yeah, I'm wanting to see if I can get a three emerald bookshelf enchantment, or trade enchantment, what the heck, that's not right. Uh, this guy sells ender pearls, which could be useful. Oh, this one's a butcher. Oh, man, this one is, like, completely useless to us. We don't have anything we can do. Unless we get a chicken farm going, if we manage to find ourselves a, uh, a zombie pigman jockey, or something like that, then we can have ourselves a chicken, and thus a chicken breeder. Although, I believe we're gonna need to be- We're gonna need to get, like, two chickens, aren't we? So, yeah, that's a thing. So, need something we need to, sort of, keep in mind. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, aside from that, I think it is time to end off this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos are out. But ladies and gentlemen, here we go. A, uh, a horse stable and a massive segregated two-tier crop farm with sugar canes underneath. I'm pretty happy with it. I really am. Um, spent a fair while on this. And yeah. I apologize if this episode's been shorter or longer than normal, you know, again, I've got to say, you know, the way I record it, uh, I could record for hours and then it only be like 12 minutes long or something, so, yeah, if it has been a short episode, I do apologize, but this is pretty much all I wanted to do for today. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, as always, your support has been much appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next episode.